Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, sampler V series V's I've been doing for a little while. I'll go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks, I'm going to talk about the stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. Don't expect to see me in a lot of sweaters. We'll get into that. But anyway, folks, super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food in or drink items for you uh, whilst I'm doing so. I'm inside the truck. Whilst I'm doing that, I am wearing a super cool sweater. Sure. Folks, why I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing today? Well, again, it is a sweater. This is a brand new one for me. This is my boom! It's my slow magic sweater from the Forgotten Fields Tour. Uh, which, if you are not familiar with Mr. Slow Magic, um, he's an electronic percussionist, programmer, musician guy. Uh, he's from Europe. He's been doing it for a while now, like over 10 years. Excuse me. I became aware of his work several years back. He went over there. He... Uh, took a Sega Dreamcast controller and went over there and programmed it with different sounds and stuff and was able to make a, a beat out of it, which I always thought that was super cool. And I finally got the opportunity, literally just a few days ago now, I got to go see him perform. It was phenomenal. But when it came to buying merch, because I like to buy merch, uh, was a little bit so-so because he really only had, like, to, he had like basically two shirts available and then he had a sweatshirt and the main shirt that he had wasn't super like I bought it because it was like okay you know it's not a bad shirt or anything it wasn't but it's not like super to my style uh but I was like ah you know I don't know when I'm gonna see this guy again you know I want to get some more merch so I was like all right I'll, so I went over there and I bought the sweatshirt um the thing is, like, it's not a bad sweatshirt. I actually like the design of it. It's got the lyrics and stuff on the thing. It's cool. The thing is, I don't like sweatshirts. I am not a sweatshirt person. I, I am firmly a t-shirt or coat person. If it is cold enough for me to need extra requirements, I'll wear a coat. S sweatshirts just literally have no purpose in my life. But it is a cool sweatshirt, and I figured for purpose of doing a review, I'll wear it. By the way, I got a whole bunch of videos from that performance, just in case you're interested. They are absolutely worth checking out. He's very cool visual style. Anyway, what am I trying for you today, folks? What are we doing here? Well, <clears throat> I made mention of this in one of my reviews a while back. Uh, there's this little, like, strip mall area kind of on the corner of... It's, it's, you know, a little bit of a drive for me, but not too bad. And it's basically just this, like, awesome little world of wonders when it comes to like, different restaurant spots. There's a Colombian place, a Peruvian place, a Harold's Chicken, and I think, like, one or two other spots, one of which I'm going to review right now. So, what am I reviewing for you, folks? Where is it from? What are we doing? Oh, God. Well, folks, we're doing... i got to be careful with this one. Boom! It is not the sexiest-looking thing I've ever reviewed, if I'm entirely honest with you, but ha, 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 ha. This is Chicken Limone... Or Chicken Limon, I don't know how it's pronounced, but it, it, it's Italian. Uh, it's from DeMarco's uh, Restaurant Italiana, something like that, or Italiana Restaurante. What, what are, it's from DeMarco's, uh, which is an Italian spot I have never been to. So I went over there and I was looking up their menu. I saw they had Chicken Limon on there. I like Chicken Limon. Here we go. So, points of contention right off the bat, though, I will say this. First of all, because I ordered through Grubhub, I did specify that I would like utensils. I did not get utensils. Not a huge issue. This is a th this is the thing. These type of to-go containers need to be done. Need to be done. I get that it's like the foil and everything maybe keeps it warmer for a little bit longer, but I'm not shitting you folks. When I took this thing out, because they also wrapped it in tin foil. Like the sauce and everything was just like permeating, and it would like it just it wasn't good. We have way better containers now. I think these are just antiquated. Again, I get it. There's probably some advantage with, like, the heat versus, like, a plastic container. I'm personally willing to forego that for more secure containment. But, anyway, luckily, 
I do have my own emergency utensils because I do this show. I will say this, having had chicken limon from a few places, it's not the sexiest looking chicken limon I've ever had. But ultimately, it's about the flavor, so. And heron. So let's get to it, because I've been yammering. First of all, let's get a mushroom. I like mushrooms. All right. Um, like chicken alone is supposed to have like a, you know, a lemony kind of taste, sort of citrusy. Like this just feels, at least for the mushrooms, it feels like it's just too steeped in. Like there's no mushroom flavor. It's just the, the lemon sauce flavor. Hmm. All right. Well, let's try out the chicken, see how it does. And this wasn't cheap either. I mean, this was like, you know, over 20 bucks to get this thing. Now, granted, you do get a soup, and they also gave me some masticholi, which I'm not, I don't remember that coming with, but sure, why not? Maybe that's to make up for the utensils. Should be fair, that's a good trade. I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> All right. <coughs> chicken! okay um it's not bad i guess like it's cooked fine it's perfectly cooked chicken it's nice and tender i'm good with that but it's kind of the exact opposite of the mushrooms like whereas the mushrooms i feel like there's just too much of that lemony taste the chicken i'm not getting anywhere near enough it's kind of bland like the chicken itself tastes good i'll say that like again it's cooked well and everything but Hmm. Let's try some with the chicken and the mushroom at the same time. Maybe they'll sort of even themselves out. I gotta say, this is, I mean, so far this is fairly disappointing, which is a shame because, like, I don't review a lot of Italian food, you know, even though I like Italian food, like proper Italian food. That's definitely the best incarnation of it, for sure. The mushroom plus the, um, plus the chicken. You kind of get to where you want to be. Hmm. I've got to say, I mean, I always like to be very positive in my reviews. And especially when I'm trying a new place, I always love to, you know, to go into it and enjoy the, the new experience. And I've been really been wanting to try to review, like, a proper Italian place. Um, you know. I mean, I know chicken limone is a fairly simple dish. Like, it's not trying to be overly fancy. It's part of the great things about it. Um, that's fine, but... I don't know, man. This just... This feels very weak to me. Like, very weak. I have definitely have far better chicken limone uh, at, at other spots. Um, okay. Uh, takeaways. Man, this sucks. I, 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 I really like to be positive, especially when... By the way, this is a, since this is a local establishment, it's going to go on my sampler platter local love playlist. It's just for local spots. Um... I mean, it's a, it's uh, it's below par. Like, there's no way to put it. It's below par. It's not horrible or anything. I do want to emphasize, excuse me, emphasize that. The chicken is cooked well, uh, but it feels bland, under-seasoned, and really not providing much of anything. 
And then on the opposite end, you have these fairly weak mushrooms that really just... I mean, I love mushrooms, but it's like, I don't... They just don't feel... You know, if I got them at, at a cheaper place or something like that, you know, where it was just more of a bullshit kind of thing, like, this is a proper Italian restaurant. These just... They have very little mushroom flavor. They mostly just absorb the the sauce. And, I mean, yeah, mushrooms, they, they take on flavor, you know. That's part of what they do, but you still want them to have the mushroomness. Um... It's not great, which sucks. I really was hoping for a lot more. Um, uh, man. Uh, I mean, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? No and no. And I, and I hate to do that. Like, and I don't want to, you know, I'm not trying to shit on DeMarco's or anything like that. Like, this is my first time ever trying their stuff. Uh, you know, could just been an off day. Maybe their main cook wasn't there. I, that's the thing, I really, you know, I, I can't say that this is their usual standard or not. All I can do is go off of what I'm trying. Usually I like to try a couple dishes from a new place, but in this case, because, you know, again, it was like, you know, with the tip and everything, it was about 30 bucks. That's a bit much for me to go over there and try two dishes in one sitting. Um, yeah, man, I mean, for me, I you know, like I said, I really like chicken limon, it's, you know, or Limone, or whatever. It is, it's a dish that I like to get, you know, when I can get it, and this is probably the worst incarnation I've had of it. Um, I think even, oh, uh, there's a place called Pasta To Go that I've reviewed a few things from, and I believe that they had a chicken limone uh, dish there, I think. It's been, it's been a while. Uh, I think even that was better than this. This is just, it's very anemic. It just feels very like, what the fuck ever, I guess, you know? Um, and as for recommending it, I mean, like, I love to recommend local spots. And, like, you know, DeMarco's has been there for a while. You know, I don't know how long, but, like, at least as long as I've lived in the area. They're obviously doing something right. So I like to think that this is maybe just a hiccup, an off day or something. But it, I, at the very least, I couldn't recommend the chicken limone, um, cause it's just, it's just very weak. It's very weak. Uh, again, especially for the price. I like, this is a very rare instance where I'm going to go over there and say flat out cause I can make chicken, right? Like I don't cook a lot, but I can make chicken and I go over there every now and again, I'll make some baked chicken, you know, I'll go over there, toss in some, uh, oh, some broccoli with some garlic whole thing, I can make some pretty damn good chicken, you know, I don't do it a lot, but I can do it, I think that my chicken is better than this chicken, and that is not a good thing to say, <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, you know, this is sadly an un a negative review, as much as I would love for it to be positive, but I will go back to DeMarco's, I will try other menu items at some point, um, and hopefully give them some redemption, because I really want to. I want to like them. Not only for eating sake, but anyway. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of the week. Monumental rest of the month. Dependence rest of your folks. You can go over there and have yourselves a truly proper Italian food rest of your life. This would not fly in Italy. I've never been to Italy, but I'm pretty sure if you went over there and you brought this to Italy and you served it to actual proper Italians they would throw you out of the country if you were ever seen again. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do all the time, I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. I'm trying not to be an asshole. But it's like, man, it's... <laughs> on like every conceivable level, you kind of drop the ball on me, DeMarco's. I didn't get my utensils, the, the fucking packaging wasn't very good for the thing, so I got stuck. <sighs> Take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe, you know what, folks, here's what I want you to do. If you've been to a spot 
and maybe you didn't have the best first experience, don't necessarily write it off right off the bat. A lot of play, a lot of people do that. It is important to remember that any establishment, no matter how good they are, no matter how many times you've enjoyed their stuff, they can have an off day. It happens. Okay, I'm not saying give them infinite chances. I'm not even saying that, hey, if you have a particularly terrible experience your first time through, hey, it is what it is. But, you know, maybe the wait time's a little bit long, or, you know, maybe it's not quite up to the standard you're hoping for. Again, you know, maybe give them a shot in a couple months or something like that. That's typically what I like to do. And typically, I find that they do a pretty good job of redeeming themselves. Hopefully, DeMarco's will as well. But anyway, uh, yeah, bye.